Hey guys, it's Cameron again. Um, months ago, I promised you that I would do a bookshelf tour of all the books that I have at my dad's house, but I either kept forgetting to bring my camera, or I did bring my camera, the battery would go dead, and so on, but uh, I'm doing it now, so there are all the books that I have here. Not very many, they're just kind of odd and end books, but um, I do have some more here in that box, which were just books that were given to me. Then I have some more in my dad's basement that are old, older books. It's my Wolfman poster. Uh, anyway, go ahead and get started with this thing. Here I have Looney Tunes comic book, um, Walt Disney World uh, guide. This I got at Disney World a couple years ago. I have an X Men comic book, Left for Dead by Pete Nelson, uh, The House on Willow Street. Just an older book I picked up somewhere. Uh, terrifying Shark Tales. <clears throat> Single to Center. Which I think used to be my older sister's book. Uh, See Orlando. Just a magazine that I picked up at Disney World too. Um, Jaws 2. Shark Tales. Um, and here I have all my great illustrated classic books from when I was younger. Um, I have uh, Christmas Carol. Stories from the Bible, uh, Christmas Bedtime Stories, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Moby Dick, King Arthur, Time Machine, Edgar Allan Poe Stories, um, uh, Jungle Book, Invisible Man, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and Peter Pan. And here I have the My Dear America books. I used to read these all the time back in elementary school. I don't know why. They're just kind of um, historical fiction uh, stories written as diaries, pretty much. Uh, but for some reason, I really like them. Um, a Journey to a New World. Winter of Red Snow. When when will this cruel war be over? Across the wide and lonesome prairie. A time for courage. Uh, all the stars in the sky. Look to the hills. Um, Anastasia. These are called the Royal Diaries. And uh, Sandok or whatever. I don't know. Um, then I have these box sets right here, which have different books in them. Uh, Christmas After All, The Girl Who Chased Away Sorrow, I Thought My Soul Would Rise and Fly, and The Journal of Biddy Owens. Um, these are still Dear America books. Um, then I have A Light in the Snow, A Picture of Freedom, The, jur the Journal of James Edmund Peace. And uh, flying free. And then this one right here has uh, early Sunday morning, my secret war, the journal of Scott, someone, and uh, the journal of Ben, someone. My battery's already going dead. Uh, my camera is terrible. Um, then I have these My America books. They're just for younger readers. And. Um, this one right here is an advanced reader's copy, which was back from the 90s. I happened to pick it up at a Goodwill, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Harry Potter coloring book. Um, just some random activity books and such. And I have Adventures of Captain Underpants. And I have most all of those, including uh, Adventures of Super Diaper Baby. And I have The Family Under the Bridge, which I have been wanting to read. Uh, the turkey ate my father. The Christmas tree ate my mother. <laughs> um, outer net, friend or foe. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This was the very first Harry Potter book that I ever got back when I was. I think I like to say I was probably eight when I got this. Um, I first got into Harry Potter back when the third book came out. So I've been into Harry Potter since before the movies even started. So I've grown up with this, which is why I'm always surprised when I see that people haven't read um, Harry Potter yet. Uh, but you can see this thing is beat up. And uh, spine there is cracked. I, this, this thing has been very loved for many years. But uh, I've got a hardcover of it now, so... Uh, the House on Cherry Street, book two, and... Book three, The Haunting of Grade Three. I remember reading that back in third grade. How to Be Cool in Third Grade. Uh, the 
dynamite book of ghosts and haunted houses. Aladdin. Um, these are uh, classics that are uh, in comic books. So I have a Growl Poe, um, more Poe, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I used to have a ton of those, but I uh, sold most of them to half price books. And I have my sister, the witch. Uh, Real Monsters. This was a show that came on Nickelodeon back in the 90s, and I love this show so much. Really miss it, and um, I'm, I've got to buy it on DVD sometime soon. But uh, I have a few of the books here. Um, Young Indiana Jones and the Tomb of Terror. Godzilla Invades America. Time Cat. Terra Says Beware. Spine Chillers Mysteries. This is the Venom versus Me, and then I have uh, Tuck Me In Mummy. Dangerous Guys, or Danger Guys. Um, spine Chillers, this is another Spine Chillers book series from when I was a kid. Um, the Ogre Downstairs, uh, Gary Paulson's World of Adventure, Deep Doo Doo. Um, Garfield and the Teacher Creature. Like I said, these were all books that I read when I was much younger. Uh, Harvey's Marvelous Monkey Mystery. Sewer Soup. Some of these books I've completely forgotten about. Uh, Good Burger to Go. Or Good Burger to Go. Uh, what do dogs dream about? Uh, X Files. This has this is a bind up of two of the books. Strangers in the Desert. Unreal by Paul Jennings. Book of the Lion. Red Work. Fires of Azeroth. The Riddle of Wren. And then these are my Dungeons and Dragons books. Uh, Return to Brookmore. Revenge of the Rainbow Dragons. And then I have a couple others right there. Uh, the Ghost Belongs to Me by Richard Peck. The Nightmare Club, uh, book three in that series. Son of Rosemary, which is the sequel to uh, uh, Rosemary's Baby. Chariot by Charles Grant, which is a really cool cover on that one. Uh, X-Files, Ground Zero. X-Files, Antibodies. X-Files, Skin. Um, then I have some little books here from when I was a little kid. And then I have a stack of um, other X-Files books here. Um, I won't go through all those though. Coming down here, I have American Dreams, which I think is just a history book that was given to me. Um, Terrible Swift Sword, which is again another history book. Uh, the Real Science Behind the X-Files. Trust No One, The X-Files, The Official Third Season Guide, Sorcerers of Magipur, I think, Merlin's Gift, Rampool Place by, Elizabeth, by Isabella Holt, um, My Life with Edgar Case. these were all books that were just given to me, I have no idea what some of them are about, uh, Weird Tales, uh, ghosts, uh, the boy that, uh, that boy Johnny, that was given to me by my dad, used to be his when he was a kid, Robinson Crusoe, where's Watto, love Watto, uh, Garfield Goes Underground, uh, the Penguin Book of Vampire Stories, uh, Selected Essays by Ralph Aldred Emerson, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, um, the or, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce that. Uh, the Fellowship of the Talisman. Which kind of sounds like a ripoff of Lord of the Rings. A little bit. Lord of the Flies, of course. Uh, a Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Hard Times by Charles Dickens. The Bridge Over the River Kwai. Which I have the movie of and I love that movie. Uh, Daughter of the Moon. Shrine. 
great stars of Hollywood's golden age. As you know, I'm a big movie buff, so I like those kind of books. John Steinbeck's Travels with Charlie. The Acts of King Arthur and His Noble Knights by John Steinbeck. Islands in the Stream by Ernest Hemingway. The Myth and Mystery of Atlantis. The Inferno. Uh, Gods, Demigods, and Demons, an Encyclopedia of Greek Mythology. Uh, another book of mythology. I have Dark Angel. The Phantom Flame of Lindhouse. And Night of the Dead. Okay, so I showed you all the books that I had up there on that shelf. Like I said, random, odd, and in things, nothing too special. But anyway, here are all the books that I have down here. Again, nothing too special. Uh, Wisdom Hunter by Randall Arthur. I have a couple of writer's books about language. A Harper Anthology of Fiction. Um, the, Silver War, the Civil War, Strange and Fascinating Facts. Uh, teen Study Bible. Survival in the Outdoors. Like I said, these are just books that were given to me. Just got a big box of them. The Night and History. And King Arthur. Um, just another book on King Arthur. Okay, so now I'm in the basement. And there's not a whole lot down here, but just some older books that I have. Uh, these were given to me. They're called The American Authors. And I have all of them, but I think one volume. But they're all in really, really great shape. And they're all uh, different authors from different time periods. And um, they all have different works of all these different authors and such. So those are really nice. Um, got quite a few of those. And um, down here I have... Uh, these are some more um, like classic author collections of books. Like Lord C. Douglas right here. Or Lloyd, Lloyd C. Douglas. And then um, have four of those. And then classic myths in English literature and in art. Um, this is a really, really old one. And it's a really, really cool book. And then um, I think really that's about all that's down here. The rest of these are, all belong to my my dad and my stepmom. Um, yeah. I, kind of, I think this is my stepsister's book. Um, from the uh, True Blood series or uh, the Snooky Stack House, whatever it's called. I've never read those before, but um, yeah, that's about all that's here um, in my dad's house. So uh, I've got a few other videos planned, um, an update video that I'm going to do really soon, and uh, my question and answers video and such. So you can stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in another video.